Hello. So we have a new episode today. Um, our last episode was corn, a quarantine look, and I feel like um, it was a nice fresh face, but I did use a lot of products. And some of my virtual friends reached out and said that they don't have as many items as I had shown um, and wanted a more basic look. They also reached out to me and gave me some of the items that they do have. So I pulled those out of my bag and I'm gonna be using those today. Now we're not gonna get into brand specifics. Um, we're just gonna go with the actual product, makeup product. So what I'm going to be doing today is creating a look using just some of your basics. So your basics would be your foundation and I have this foundation, but we're just gonna call it a generic foundation, whatever you have use. So I'm going to be using this foundation today which is Love Your Selfie. Then I'm going to also be using just a basic earth tone eyeshadow palette. I haven't even dug into this one yet, which is nice. Um, any of these colors will do. I'll try to keep it pretty basic for you. A face powder. You can see I really dug into that. Um, if yours has more of col a color to it, that is completely fine. Mascara. And eyeliner. So we will get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you have some moisture on your face. Uh, you can use your daily lotion or you can use what I recommend, um, and I recommended it in my last video, was the ointment, so Aquaphor, CeraVe, or even Vaseline. So I'm going to start out with that because I feel a little dry today. Even though I do look shiny, um, my skin is feeling a little dry, and also my lips are. So we'll add some, just a tiny bit to our face to get started. And we'll just rub that in. Pay attention to those areas where you are aging. That's where our makeup likes to sit and get dry. And I do feel like that does age you. Okay. Great thing about this is we can just kind of put it anywhere. So I'm gonna, like I said, add a little to my lips. All right. So we have moisture, that's a great start. Now we're going to start with your foundation and some spot treatments. So I'm gonna take some of my foundation and I'm going to do this just applying it with my hands today. I would normally use, so if you have a brush like this, um, use it. But I'm going to try to keep it super simple today um, with no additional tools, just the makeup I have. So I'm going to move on from there and I'm going to take my concealer or foundation and I'm gonna just apply it to the middle of my hand, just a little bit to start off with. And what I'm gonna start off with here is the spot treatment on those areas where I see redness, I may see some acne prone zones, or just areas where I feel like it's super uneven. So my chin seems to be one of those, maybe because I, I do have some scars from acne when I was younger. Do you have the redness around my nose? So I'm just going to tap those areas and you can start doing that yourself. Just kind of put those, and this is gonna look silly at first. You're not gonna leave it like this, but you wanna get just an extra layer in there before we do an overall coverage look. Your eye area, again, we're, we want to be tempted to like just put some in the corners and just kind of go work your way from the inside out and just tap lightly, very gentle on your skin. I forget what model I saw an interview with and she said, never rub your skin down, always push up. And I try to, she said, tap, tap, tap. 
And I think the tapping too, it also like increases your circulation in your face and you get that more glowing look than if you were just rubbing. So I said inside I tend to get, and look at how much I've used so far, nothing, nothing. Just goes, go, a little bit goes a long way. You know, even if it's the oldest foundation you have, don't overdo it at first because you can always layer on. Just do that thin layer first. Another good tip, since um, we're not going to be using primer today, um, is to take that foundation and do the eyelids and the brow bones. That will act as a primer, which means like an undercoat, to, so you can, so those eyes will pop when you add that. eyeshadow and also this will cover those veins that you have on the eyelids just to open up the look you can add even a little underneath again we're keeping this super thin and this should also be just kind of blending right into that balm or lotion that you added <clears throat> So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do some all over coverage. So for the all over coverage, I'm just going to take your hand and just kind of rub your fingers in. And then we're going to put fingers together. Just get a light coating on those fingers. And then we're just going to tap, like I said. those cheeks just kind of blend just a very soft blend onto those cheeks into that a little on your nose we're going to be pushing up tap 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 you can see and then just push that out into your hairline and work it down into your neck so that you don't have those lines. And this should hopefully just be blending right in if your skin is moisturized enough. And just creating just a nice, more yeah. even look to your skin. We have some coverage there um, the next thing because I said I'm only using these five products so the next thing I'm guessing that most of us have is that powder um, if you don't have a brush um, you can use your fingers or you can use a cotton ball so you're just going to put going to apply that powder to those areas that you feel Have that shine the bridge of your nose corners just kind of even that out I do get it between my eyebrows because I tend to be pretty oily in there I think my oiliest zone and this just might be me is right in here if you have a nice bigger brush now would be the time to smooth all that in. but I'm not going to do that today I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can so we got a, a light base on just evened it out a little bit so now we're going to move on to those eyes and I'm just going to use two colors today. I'm not going to go overboard. So I'm just going to use the basic bronze. This has no shimmer to it. Um, and what I'm going to do is just apply a light 
layer to my lid my finger and just on the lid and right up on that bone so you can push into that bone like a rainbow nice and light pretty and natural same over here The good thing about using your fingers with your um, your eye makeup is that you won't get that dust that falls as much. I don't know why when I do these tutorials, I always forget the word eyeshadow. It's funny. Eyeshadow. Who does that? Shadows. So now what we're going to do is do that instant eye lift um, little trick. So you can take a different color or you can take the same color. It depends on what you want to do. I think I'm going to just mix the two a little bit. So I have that dark and that little bit of shimmer. And you're going to tap those edges. And then kind of rub off the extra. And then just go ahead and massage. Work your way from the sides. Just kind of massage up, tapping, massaging, tapping, massaging, up. Just keep blending, 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 blending. You don't want any lines. You can see I already have that pretty pushed up look. All right, so I think the, I mean, the eyes, you can go ahead and add some more but I guess we're gonna keep it just keep it super simple today you can even take uh, if you do have a lighter shimmer in that palette just add it to the corners that really pops and brightens up those eyes another trick is by Zine. all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to uh, do our mascara. A lot of people do their eyeliner before their mascara. I like to do my mascara first because when I do my eyeliner first, I tend to overdo it because I don't have the lashes on. And then when I go to add my mascara, I feel like it's too heavy. So we're going to add that mascara first. And I used to curl my lashes and they used to, you know, stick up a little bit more, but I am liking the more natural look these days, the more feathered look. So go ahead and just lightly coat those lashes. Whatever brand you have. And just make sure you get every lash. Pulling those lashes out nice and slow. And then You don't want to be tempted to overdo it here. So let those dry. And then you can choose if you want to do those bottom lashes. I like to because I have light lashes, light skin, and I really want to open those eyes up. there's already a pretty big difference here so after that dries you're gonna put a second coat on or you don't have to um, I like to really emphasize those sides because I feel like that opens my eyes up even more and also kind of acts like an eyeliner you can see the way that those are angled it looks like I already have a liner on. Okay. Now you do want to let this dry um, because when we put the eyeliner on, we don't want it to smudge. So while that's drying, um, you can do a little quick check and make sure that you didn't get your eyes just run that and the next thing we're gonna do is a liner so with the liner just keep it simple um, just 
I like to do just from about the middle of the lid. Just do a little swoop on each side. Go a little bit above where your lash line would be. be perfect um, and then if you have this little guy at the end of your eyeliner to blend um, you can go ahead and use that to blend or if you don't just use a q-tip and I'm going to take the q-tip and just kind of blend that out see how pretty and natural that looks blend you can blend it out as far as you'd like if you don't like it, take the other side of the Q-tip and wipe it off. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit that's on that Q-tip, and you would do that even if you had the other side of your eyeliner, and just kind of put it on the same spot but in the lower lashes to pop those eyes open. Super pretty. All right. So I think this looks good. Five products, just regular foundation, some powder, and if you don't have powder, I, here's a hack. If you have gold mond or baby powder, you can use that. Let me fix that a little bit. Um, to just reduce that shine. Um, I used just a basic eyeshadow palette, some mascara, and some eyeliner. So then to end this little tutorial, I do want to add um, some things that if you want, if you're looking, let me fix that, sometimes you have to, if you're looking to add to your makeup kit, um, here are some quick items that you can pick up that will really enhance this look. So. Um, and it doesn't matter what brand it could be. It could be anything from Wet n Wild to CoverGirl, um, whatever color, whatever brand you want to pick up or whatever you can afford. Um, so I have a bronzer. And in the stores, they're called bronzers and they look like this. They don't have a ton of shimmer, just like a nice tan color. And this is Tarte. It's a little more pricey. A highlighter. So this is what it looks like. And there's lots of different colors, lots of different shades. Some come in pinks, some come more in um, like a shimmery gold. This one's a lighter one I'm gonna try today. And then the last thing, if you can add three products to your makeup bag is the eyebrow pencil. And not the kind that you sharpen. What I would recommend is this specific brand. It's super affordable. It is called Brow Stylist Definer, and I will add this at the end of my video too. And I use Dark Blonde. I just love it because you can see it's just such a fine tip. So I'm going to, if you feel like you don't want to add anything else to your bag, you can stop the video now. But if you want to maybe try some new stuff with your makeup, um, keep watching because I'm going to add, if you can add these three products to your makeup bag, the bronzer, the highlighter and the brow pencil um you can add a little bit more to your look so we're going to start with that bronzer <clears throat> and again i'm going to try to assume that you do not have any extra or additional brushes so i'm going to do this with my fingers so clean fingers clean hands so we want to do some contouring and when you contour you want to make that silly duck face and we're going to create a little shadow right above where you see that natural line for your cheekbones. So just a little above. Okay, same with the other side. Now I look like I'm ready to go to war. So then you're gonna take both hands and just gently in that upward motion. 
Smooth that right into your hairline. The next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fingertip again and you're gonna do a little highlighting on your nose. So just a tiny bit. Okay, just kind of just go down the bridge of your nose. Really close to the center, almost to the center. If you feel like it's darker on one side, go ahead and just add a tiny bit. And you can just always smooth this out. This is not permanent, so this is the first time you're doing this. It's okay. Um, I want to shorten up my tip a little bit, so what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of shadowing down here to the tip, because that'll push up your nose, the look of your nose. And if you don't want to push it up, then do not do that step. So what I'm gonna do is I have my shadowing on my nose and this will create a more streamlined look. Just kind of rub that in with your fingers. And if I had a brush, I would be doing it with a brush. If you have a wider face like me, um, you can also take the bronzer and just kind of trace along your face line right here, your jawline, your face line. And create that illusion of a thinner, more defined face. I add some, and this is really light, so it's not gonna make you look like you have a line. Um, I like to add some to my chin, because I want that thinner face look, because I have a I said a wider face and then just again use those fingers to massage that in so you don't have those lines I usually have bangs but I pulled my hair back today so um, if you are a person most people do not have bangs if you're a person that does not have bangs and you want to shorten that forehead take a little bit more of that bronzer and just add it right to that hairline And that creates the illusion of a, a smaller forehead. Let's see. All right, we're gonna add the highlighter. This is the second product that I said. Um, if you wanna really like pop, your, make your look pop, um, and you have a smaller makeup bag, um, a highlighter is the way to do it. So I'm gonna take that highlighter and just same thing, rub your fingers a little bit in it, not too much. And we're just gonna add a little bit of shimmer right above where we created that natural contour with the bronzer. So I'm just gonna go right above it. And I feel like adding this shimmer takes years off your skin. I don't wanna go overboard, blending is key. And then you're gonna take the same shimmer and just add a little bit to the bridge of your nose. Rub that in. And then add a little to the where you want your tip to start. So if you were trying to shorten it up like I was, just add a little shimmer to that tip. I'm gonna take that same highlighter. I'm gonna add a little bit above my brow, or under my brow line to Pop, push those brows up. Get that shimmer. See how pretty that looks. All right. And then you can even use the same shimmer. Dust that on your lips. I just have that Aquaphor or CeraVe or even Vaseline. And just get that really shimmery natural look. So let's move on to that third product and my one of my favorite, favorite products. 
is that eyebrow pencil. So what you're gonna need for this is you can use your eyeliner um, to help you measure, or you can use a pencil, or you can use, if you do have a brush, you can use the other side of the brush. This is my oldest brush and it's my favorite brush. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that brow pencil and you're gonna push it up against your nose and you're gonna slightly angle it and you can see where my natural brow should start. Um, mine are pushed out a little bit because of over plucking. So I'm gonna create that natural brow line by just tracing along that angle. And I'm gonna just skip to the other side and do the same thing. And then I'm gonna even it out and kind of try to match it up to my natural brows. So I'm gonna erase a little bit from the top and a little bit from the top and a little bit from the bottom to kind of match it up where I want to start. So I have my starting point and then you're just going to lightly lightly fill in that area that was missing and then thicken up your natural brow a little bit. And I like to, if you want to play around with it a little bit, add a little arch. Don't go for it though. If you mess up, just wash it off and give it a try, another try. Just lightly And if you're buying a pencil, go. I try to go one shade that lighter than you would think. So if you think your brows are whatever shade you think they are, try to go one shade lighter because I feel like that gives you the most natural look. You don't want to go super dark. And so when you're finished with that, take the other side of this pencil. Most brow pencils come with this little brush. And you're just going to blend lightly, just to kind of tap, just like the rest of your makeup just gently tap all right I have my brows and there we are so you can see the difference um, in the look that you're gonna get from adding these three products you can see I have a little bit more definition to my face um, my face pops a little bit more having those brows on and that shimmer just adds that extra youth. So I hope you enjoyed this simple, simplified video today and I will list some of the products that you can add at the end. So I'll see you later.